Good morning everyone, it's Ann Metcalf. I'm here in my kitchen today and we are going to be looking at the life force energy of foods. It's part of what I teach in my Trust Your Gut, eating naturally to help heal our bodies, to be that radiant, vibrant self that we can be. And so I've got my little chart and it can be uh, a pendulum just drawn on a piece of paper and I'm using one of my fuse glass pendulums that I make that you can purchase if you go to my uh, one, my website which I'll explain later so today we're looking at some prune plums which has come have come off our plum tree uh, just this past week and cooked plums and also prunes which is another form of plum. And we'll also be looking at some baked beans. And so I've got my chart and what I do, you've got, I think this is probably a little backwards for you, but you've got zero to 50 to 100, representing 100% of the potential life force energy that is in a food. I mean, life force energy is in everything around us, in our bodies. And when we do the muscle testing, we are actually, with, especially with the, the body's innate movement for the yes and the no, that is the connection of the energy of the food in our body when we're trying to decide, is this food I eat? for my healthy, radiant vitality. But today we're looking at just the general life force energy of the food. And so I'm just gonna tilt this down a little bit. So we've got our plums and we've got our chart. And so I normally start this at, I kind of start swinging at 50. And then I just ask, what is the life force energy of these plums and it's going kind of between the 90 it's just past just past the 90 so that's the fresh plum and then I've got the cooked the stewed plums that I made it's interesting how they the color is so different this is a gorgeous black purple and when it cooks it's that uh, turns almost a red color so let's have a look and, and just ask what is the life force energy of these uh, cooked plums and sometimes and it's it's a little awkward because of the angle I'm having to hold this and making sure that you can see it and that is swinging towards the 90. So it's the same plums that went into the stewed plums. And so now we've got the next one are these prunes, which is basically dried uh, prune plums. So let's have a look at that and see what this, what's the life force energy of these dried fruit plums that I got at a local store. And that is swinging, oh, let's get, okay, let's get, and now what I need to do, and I remind you when you're doing this testing, is to breathe in, connect, and then test. Breathe in, Connect, you're connecting with the energy of the food. And so that is at 60. So it's um, less than uh, the plums that I have for my garden. And I was curious, one, if the cooking changed the life force energy. In this instance, these are organic uh, plums from my garden. It didn't change when it was cooked. And I'm going to freeze some because I'm just curious. Does freezing change the life force energy of food? And we'll find that out in another month. 
when I pull out the frozen um, cooked plums from the freezer. So this is actually some baked beans that I made on my own with my pressure cooker. And there's a variety of different kinds of beans. We've got black beans and we've got some kidney beans, brown beans, and there's one other bean that I found that looks like a lima bean when it's raw, but when it cooked, it must have been, it was like that big, it was huge. So let's have a look at these beans. So we're gonna check the energy of them now, and I'm gonna freeze them, and in a subsequent video, we'll find out if the life force energy changed. And so there's our chart. And so I, I like to start at 50. We just ask, what is the life force energy of these beans? And I'm just gonna turn, I'll put it down like this. So we start at 50. So it's swinging towards between the, kind of around the 80. And because my angle is a bit off, so that's, that's approximately where it is. And uh, I'm going to have you just breathe in and breathe out because I'm going to pop in. I'm going to get the canned beans. So thank you for your patience. Because the scientist in me loves to compare things. So there's our homemade cooked. And these are canned beans. And so we're going to have a look at what is the life force energy of these canned beans. And so let's have a look. We just breathe in, connect with the life force energy of these canned beans. And they are it's about 30% at life force energy, uh, which isn't a lot. So we, we really want to be eating foods that's, oh, ideally 80% or better, but I mean, if you can start at 60 and work your way up, that's fabulous. And the sugar, it's 12 grams per half cup. So it's, 24 grams of sugar in one cup of beans. Whereas my beans, I didn't add any sugar, and I did add probably a quarter of a cup of molasses. So I would have to figure out what that was. Some of the recipes online that I found added a, a minimum of a half a cup of sugar plus molasses, or they use maple syrup. So you're, they're adding a lot of extra sugar. And can we do with less? Absolutely, we can. Uh, for men, the maximum sugar for a day is approximately 38 grams of sugar, and for women it's 25. So one cup of these canned beans would be a woman's total for the day. And an apple has got 16 grams of sugar, but because of the fiber in it, our body knows how to deal with that sugar and it just goes through the intestinal tract. A lot of that sugar just goes down the tract and it doesn't get absorbed into our body like added sugars do. So it's just something to keep in mind. Read your labels. If you're going to use a canned product, check the sodium because we don't need too much salt either. And uh, have fun in your kitchen with checking out the life force energy of food. Thank you for being with me. Uh, you can check my website, which will be, um, it's, a, it's a new website. And so it's Smart Foods to Freedom. Because when you eat smartly, you eat consciously, that allows your body to free up its energy and put it into that energy that you want to feel. So, and you can also email me at rosiesjoy11, that's R-O-S-I-E-S, -E joy11, at gmail.com. So I look forward to uh, answering any questions you might have, and until we meet again.
Namaste. Thank you.